Hi friends, it's so good to be with you again today. We are continuing our video devotions, talking all about spiritual practices and disciplines and how we can implement them into our daily lives and grow closer to God as a result. Today, we are looking at the super fun practice of waiting. <laughs> You could be the most patient human being on the planet, and I would venture to say that you do not enjoy waiting. I don't know anybody who does. Waiting is kind of the worst. And what's interesting about waiting is we all do it probably a hundred times a day, whether it's waiting in traffic, which I feel like we are doing all over this town right now, traffic, 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 uh, waiting for your kids to put their darn shoes on, waiting maybe for test results from a doctor or a phone call from a future boss. We find ourselves waiting again and again and again and again in our daily lives. It's unavoidable. But how we make it a spiritual practice and a discipline in our lives is we shift our mindset to be intentional with our waiting. And there are some tools we can use uh, to help us do that. So the first is we surrender our timetable. This is a tough one, at least for me. You know, I get it in my head a certain way things should be and when they should be that way. And anything outside of that just feels wrong. But by surrendering our timetable again and again and opening ourselves up to receiving the timetable of God, that is saying your way is better than mine. Your timing is better than mine. And as we do that over and over again as a discipline and a practice inside of waiting, uh, I think it will become easier to do. Not easy to do, but easier to do. The second tool we can implement while we wait is staying in the present moment with God. I've got a quote for you. Adele Alberg Calhoun says, God's people learn to wait with God in the present moment because that is the only place God is found. The past with its regrets is irretrievably gone. The future with its what ifs is out of our control. But now, right now, it's possible to be with God. I love that. It's a reframing of the way we wait and the way that we look at waiting. You know, waiting can be uncomfortable and being present inside of waiting is not fun. We want to get out of there and get what we're waiting for as fast as we can. But God is found in the present moment. And so to, to be disciplined enough and to condition ourselves to not hurry through, to not want to rush and get to the other side, but to be present in this moment with God allows us to be close to God in the present moment. It's a good tool and a discipline uh, that we can implement. The third tool we can use while we wait is not waiting for a future in which you can finally live. We've all done it. Maybe some of us are doing it currently. Ah, once I graduate from college, once I get married, oh, when we finally have kids, oh, when my kids finally move out, <laughs> I can live my dream life. And that thought is robbing us of what God wants to do right here, right now, today, as you are watching me on your screen. John 10.10 10 says that Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly, not when X, Y, Z happens, then we access the abundant life. But right here, right now, Jesus has abundant life for you. And so let's discipline our minds to not, not trick ourselves into thinking that once this happens, then I'll finally be able to live because God has beautiful life for us right here today. Some of the fruit we'll begin to see in our lives as we practice intentional waiting with God is we will begin to trust in God's goodness and timing. This one's tough too, man. But the more we wait with God intentionally, the better acquainted we will become with God and with God's character. And I think the better acquainted we become with God's character, the easier it will be, again, not easy, but easier to trust in his goodness and timing because we're getting to know that he is good and his timing is good and it's better than ours. Another uh, fruit that we will see begin to flourish in our lives is sustaining hope when things don't happen on your timeline. 
Uh, you know, it's easy to be discouraged or um, even to despair when we find that things aren't happening um, the way that we thought they would or the way and when, you know, we, we thought they should. But to maintain and sustain hope in the middle of that is a powerful thing and something that is hugely beneficial for us as Christians, as humans, to have hope in waiting. That is something that will develop in us as we begin to be intentional in times of waiting. And I, I want to distinguish the difference because there is waiting on God, you know, in times of prayer or in times of worship. And I think that's different than being intentional about times of waiting. When we find ourselves stuck and waiting for something to happen, seasons of life. Uh, to change or, you, you know, so, so there is a bit of a distinction with this specific spiritual practice. So I encourage you wherever you are today, maybe you're, you'll be sitting in traffic or maybe you are waiting for something that's a super big deal to you and your season of life right now. Can we implement some of these things together? Could we be more intentional with our waiting and experience God right in the middle of it? Um, one good question to ask ourselves is, in the past, when I have had to wait, what did God do inside of that? And, and kind of remember how he's been faithful in past times of waiting. And I think that will help us have an easier, not easy, <laughs> but easier time as we wait um, now and in, in our everyday. I pray you were encouraged today, friends, and I pray that these spiritual practices are changing your life, uh, how they're changing mine. Be blessed, and we'll see you next time.